So you might be well familiar with future in Flutter programming and if you are not familiar with this particular term future and I will try to provide a small intro about future and then let's move towards the future dot await. So in Flutter programming whenever you try to make a network call or a database query and here in this scenario you might end up waiting for a bit to get the result from the API call or a database query and then process further to avoid the waiting period here and to make the work in an asynchronous way we make use of future in flutter program so you might be well aware in native programming languages also there we implement asynchronous network calls or database queries so the similar way we do in flutter with the help of future and the way we do like this because to avoid the confusion that the user might face at the time of this particular network call or database query because sometimes it might take a bit time or it might be delayed due to network issues or any other related issues then we need to make sure that the user should not be frozen on that particular screen and to avoid the confusion we make use of future here so this is a small intro like why we need a future and mostly we use it with the network calls or database queries just as we discussed so how future work so here with the help of future we will try to see a small example here so how an asynchronous and await is being implemented in our flutter programming so this is the code block which i would like to show you here we are trying to fetch a data and we have added asynchronous to the method here and also you can find await here and for the example we have just added a duration this particular duration block will be replaced by your network call or something which you want to and here we will finally return the result and this is a way of how to handle an asynchronous programming in flutter application and also we do have wait in future and let's try to see how we can implement wait with the help of this particular future so stay tuned till the end of this tutorial i will try to implement a real time example and will show you how wait works in flutter program here comes the basic intro for future wait let's imagine a scenario where you want to make multiple network calls and these are not a chain of network calls but a multiple network calls which run parallelly so you start all these network calls and wait for their result and when you get the result of all these network calls you want to proceed further so there might be few scenarios in applications in this way not all the applications might have these scenarios but i am saying there might be these kind of parallel api call scenario in a few applications for them future dot wait will provide you the best solution so what are the advantages of future wait here we can see here whenever you are trying to make the multiple api calls just as we discuss and here the main important is like for making multiple api request and also batch processing so whenever you want to upload multiple files like images audios or any other different files parallelly then you can make your future wait here and also asynchronous initializations so sometimes you need to initialize a database and also load some configurations and also preload some information onto the list view or the view sliders which you are having so all these things you can make with the help of this particular future wait and also concurrent db queries just as we discussed so now let's try to see a real time example like how this future dot wait works for you now let's get started with this particular code and we can make use of the template which we have created in our previous tutorial and if you are not watched the previous tutorial on the template creation i am providing the link here you can visit the tutorial and try to create a template 
but here we are not making use of an emulator or simulator to display anything and so i'm not making use of the template over here in this particular tutorial so i'm just importing material dot dart here and void main so let's try to specify the things over here and even i don't think we require material dot dart here so future here let's try to fetch data one i'm going to specify here and as you have known from the previous example which we have seen we are specifying asynchronous here for this particular block and now also here we want to return something so i am going to return a string so of a type string i am specifying this particular future and again you can specify anything here like in dynamic and now let's try to specify the await block and just as we have shown in the example future dot delay and here we are going to specify a duration in terms of seconds here and in the real time you can replace this with your api call and here i am specifying three seconds and you can also find here we are getting an error because we also need to have a return type as we have specified future of type string and here if you specify a string then i'm just going to specify data received or data one received okay so this is how we can create a block of future a block of asynchronous code with the help of future and now i'm going to add the same blocks of code and just going to replace them with two and three respectively here and also i'm going to change the duration as well over here and also you can add const over here for better practice and also now let's try to list all these futures together so as we discussed all these futures should run parallelly and the output we need to fetch at once so even though they run parallelly here you can see the duration the first call will take like three seconds the second call will take two seconds and the third call will take one second so even though we receive the fetch data three first and then two and then one all these results are clubbed together and provided to us at once so let's try to see how this is possible so i'm going to create a list of future here and again our future is of type string so specify futures and whatever the name you want over here and now let us try to call these futures now so fetch data one and fetch data two here and similarly fetch data three so this is how we call all these three calls at once and just we have declared now it's time to call these three and before trying to call these three let us also try to specify the procedure to wait so here again let us try to specify string of results so here comes uh, the list of string of results here and here we are going to specify await because we need to wait till the response is being fetched and here future dot here comes the actual scenario now so now let's try to make use of wait here and also you can see futures is being populated for us now so this is the futures we have added over here and also you can find here asynchronous and also for this particular void main we need to make it asynchronous because we are trying to fetch the result and of course each block is having its own await here 
in a similar way our void main should also wait for this particular results like set of results and then finally what we do is like print these particular results onto the screen so this is a basic example which i want to show you like how these things works in real time so now i try to run this particular code and here you can see we have got data one received data two received and data three received and let's try to remove one call over here and try to rerun this code so here now you will receive only two information like two results you will be receiving here because we have removed the second call from the list here so this is how you can handle the futures dot wait in flutter programming not only network calls this might be a database query this might be an initialization and this might be a network call so you can club all these kinds of process together and try to run them and also error handling is also very easy when you implement this particular future dot wait and if you are having any query regarding error handling or any other query regarding this particular implementation just let me know in the comment section below i will try to further explain you this particular procedure so this is it for this particular vlog i hope you like this particular implementation of future wait and i also suggest you to implement them if at all you require this scenario in your flutter application and also the code for this particular tutorial i am going to provide in the description section below and if you find any issues just try to visit the link i am providing in the description section below and still if you are facing any query just let me know in the comment section below i hope you like this tutorial and if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter